Here's okay, and sharpener. we are live. Thank you for my sharpener. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Hello, and welcome to the Tuesday night live stream. I am Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and tonight I am joined by your co-host Liam. Yay, Liam! Liam and I are artists, and tonight we are drawing on the crafting live stream. So, give me a few minutes. If you're watching this in the playback, if you've clicked on this from YouTube or whatever, this is uh, the playback of a live stream. So this is not edited content. Um, you're about to watch us drawing for like an hour and interacting with people in the chat. So speaking of chat, let's get on in there and see if anybody's even here tonight. Um, good evening, everyone. Anyone's here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Ooh, two watching. <laughs> oh, three now. Okay, hang on. I got to turn it down. Zadel's here. Oh, and Brittany and Evie. Um, yes. Hey, hey. No, yeah, we, um, Brittany, I, you messaged me earlier and said that the thunderstorms were like really bad at your house. It never got really bad here. It rained quite a bit and we had we like did, some, we did hear thunder. We did hear thunder and lightning and have all that stuff, but, um, there you go. So why, why does it look like a weird tornado? Let me show you, Evie. This is my, um, hand painted wine glass that, um, Adriana made for me, my attack chat co-host. Um, tonight I don't have wine in it though. Tonight I have oat straw infusion, which oh, is. Oh, that's not wine. I thought it was wine. I know. Doesn't it kind of look like it? No, this is iced oat straw infusion, well, I like which is a very strong herbal tea. No, this is just oat straw. Well, that's boring. I'm just kidding. How dare you? <laughs> All right. So anyway, I did leave a link in the description box for anybody reading this. If you need your own custom painted wine glass, Adriana painted this to look like my horse Artax in his unicorn form, of course. So I'm staying hydrated and we are drawing unicorns tonight. Actually, I'm drawing Pokemon with unicorn horns. Yes. Liam was like, all right, do I really have to draw unicorns? I'm like, well, you have to draw something like unicorns. And I suggested the Pokemon thing. With He's being there. There, there's a surprising amount of them. Okay, I don't really know Pokemon, so we'll see what he comes up with tonight. And I'm not going to be like directly referencing them, but I'm gonna look at them and then draw them. So it's gonna be like drawing from short term memory. There you go. He's gonna look at a picture and then draw the picture. Except for like one or two that won't be in the book that I have here. Let me show the book. Okay. This is the book that I'm using. I've had this book for years and years. This is and it only Liam's. covers the Kalos Region Handbook, or the Kalos Region. Uh, so it's only 450 Pokemon instead of 807. Uh -huh. I had this before Gen 7 even came out. Okay, I am drawing. I actually want to kind of explore cartoon unicorns tonight. I want... Um, I want a couple new designs in my t-shirt shop. By the way, I'm wearing my Quit Being Extra t-shirt. I drew this unicorn and then um, a friend um, rendered it digitally for me. And then we're, um, Liam's got his on too. Show them the pink version. Da, 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 da. So, um, but I want not a silhouette this time. I'm kind of trying to come up with some sort of cartoon unicorn, one that I could put on t-shirts with like extra equestrian type sayings. So I, I'm just kind of exploring that tonight. Um, yeah, I'm cartoon unicorn right now. <laughs> Evie <laughs> says, draw a unicorn Pokemon. Like, wait, Evie, do you mean like you want him to make up a unicorn Pokemon or one that already exists? Are you working on one already? He's I'm, busy. Look no, at this. I'm, I'm drawing a unicorn. Uh, a cartoon unicorn. Oh, that, that's what you said. You're okay, dude. If you can come up with one that would work for um, I, I, t-shirts I and stuff. Like and yes, up with, uh, Zadel, you yeah. said drawing. Are you drawing tonight? What are you drawing? Like, what if we just sort of made? I'm actually pretty good at cartooning. It's realistic style, but I have trouble. Oh my god! And my pencil. Why is my pencil like? I need to spend some time just sharpening. See, look, it's a little cartoon unicorn. Cute. The mouth goes all the way back and makes it look like a dragon. And where's its horn? Oh, right. Horn. <laughs> he so wants it to be a Pokemon. All right, I'm trying a different pencil sharpener because that okay. one was irritating. I'm drawing Pokemon now. All right. So there's some that I just, I know that 
we we have to do. And there's some that uh, you guys in the chat can suggest some Pokemon if you know any that have unicorn horns or that look like unicorns or horses. Suggest them to me and I will do my best to draw them. But I have a few in here that I'm going to do. And starting off here, I think I'm going to do uh, Dragonair. If I can find Dragonair. What? See, you're wanting to do dragons. Dragonair is a majestic beast with a horn. It counts. <laughs> what? Daddy's on your account. Oh! <laughs> so it looks like it's me. I'm typing. in the chat, yes. <laughs> Liam Paget says, Hey, it's me. I'm masterly projecting by text as I'm talking and drawing, multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, It's a Pokecorn power. What? I don't even know what he is talking about. I, sounds cool, like pokey and unicorn, and just lights up my day. Okay, well, hang on. Oh, it touches my heart. Here's a start, just a beginning, off the top of my head. There's a thing, it's a unicorn. Okay, this is the one that I'm going to be drawing first. I told you ones that look like unicorn, and he picks one that looks like a snake with a thing on its forehead. It's. I'm gonna find. It's a majestic beast, look at it. It's. Freaking majestic. <laughs> unicorns are majestic. Fine. Yeah, I'm drawing a real majestic unicorn right now. <laughs> majestic. Majestic, yes. All right, so I said I wasn't going to uh, do it directly. Okay, now that I've got her face, though, I'm not really sure what else to do. And I want... I'd have to clean that up. Okay. So... And it doesn't give her much, okay, I like this, but this doesn't give her much room for facial expressions, like um, smiling or, I don't know, being mad. She could be mad. She could have eyebrows. What would eyebrows do to her? Make her look human? They might make her look a little weird. There we go. I gave her little brows. It looks like a, like a disfigured human. Yeah, thanks. What did I tell you about me being nice to me on my live stream? Uh, I you. just figure humans look nice. What? Well, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't okay. make fun of disfigured people. That's Dude, crazy. don't even go there right now. Don't. Don't be <laughs> I'm, That's all okay. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, there's one. So hang on, um, <laughs> Brittany. Oh, because my dad's a wizard and my mom's a witch. Brittany was going to say, how is he typing? <laughs> so Evie says when she dresses extra in public, uh, people take pictures. Oh, no pictures, no pictures. I'll give an autograph later. You know what? Having hair this color, people will take random pictures of me in public too. And I mean, I always look kind of weird. Sometimes I have fairy wings on. Sometimes I have a tiara. Sometimes I'm in like full glitter glam makeup and then I'm covered in dirt somehow. I feel like it's weird to take pictures of someone without their permission. It is. So I wonder what else she'd have going on here. So what if, I'm going to continue to draw this little thing here. Okay, I'm not too confident on the eyes here. I, I don't, I can't remember how they go. I don't know why my unicorn is sitting. I don't know. Why are you asking me? <laughs> not asking you, I'm drawing. All right, I did have a Dragonair in my Project Pokemon playthrough, but then I evolved it into Dragonair. Okay. Here's my first one. Something like that. I don't know. She looks too much like a dog there. Um, send a picture to Messenger of what Liam should draw. Britt, I can't go in and out of apps. I'm an old lady. <laughs> What's the name of it? All right, hang on. Zadel says I will have a lot of pictures too. Yeah. Oh, like a Pokemon I should draw? 
I think so. Yeah, she sent a thing on Messenger, but like my computer's doing the live stream, and then I'm in the chat here, and I don't want to leave the oh. chat. Okay. I want to draw a sideways. What if this little thing was sideways? Do you like her? Yeah. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> um, Zabel, did you say, did I miss it? Did you say you were working on a drawing? Evie says, I know where you'd live on my island, Aldovia, in a cottage somewhere in Unicorn Meadow or Centaur Prairies. That sounds amazing. Evie, are you, um, draw that for me. Do you draw, Evie? Draw me um, Aldovia with a unicorn meadow and a centaur prairie and get your mom to post it on um, Instagram or in the extra equestrians group. Will you please, 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 please draw me a picture? Okay. Yes, I love being extra in public. So I guess I sometimes people stare and I'm kind of used to it. But then I had years of being in theater and um, you'd be in shows and the shows get out late at night or you're on your way to the theater and you've got a six o'clock call or something, but you have to go get dinner before. So you're in like full makeup and you've probably got hair things happening and um, maybe random costume pieces. But and then you're in the line at McDonald's or whatever. And people are like, McDonald's. What? I have eaten at McDonald's before. Uh -huh. We're not really in a McDonald's phase right now. Oh, Rabidash. Yeah. Um, I don't think Rabidash. I have Rabidash in my... Is Rabidash not in the Cowboys region? Oh, oh I girl. <laughs> I, I was thinking about Rabidash, but I didn't know if it was in the Cowboys region. Okay, I'm liking the forelock and the ears and the little horn on my face. Although, I don't like the horn on the top of her head. She's not my favorite thing right now. I mean, I like her. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to hurt her feelings. So, no, but I'm doing a thing in 17 days that I can't wait. Don't want to give it away. Ah, you're teasing. Don't do that. <laughs> but yes, okay. Oh, Evie, I drew the map thing like you're in an airplane. Oh, but if honey, I draw the whole island with detail, it'll arrive in about a year and a week. Well, like a scene, something really cool, like a forest scene or a river or a lake or a prairie something. Give me a... Draw me a thing, part of the map, like focus in. If you were to Google map your map all the way down into one scene, what would that be? Excuse me, give me a Google image, girl. <laughs> a magical Google, Magoogle. Magoogle, is that a thing? Are you, can you find Rapidash? Is that a thing? I'm not in the last part of the region yet, so hold up, fam. Wait, am I not? No, I think I'm not. Okay, I'm picturing, okay, if this thing is sideways, what if it's just like a big potato? A big potato? What if potato it's like, horse? yes, a baked potato unicorn. And it's got a baked potato head. Potato? Okay. You said potato. Potato. Bacon, lettuce, and potato. That's a Golden Girls joke. Anybody get that? Who's in the chat that gets that? No rabidash. I looked in Bacon, lettuce, and potato sandwich. parts of the Callows region. Um, no rabbit ash in the letter R. So, um, yeah. I might be able to draw it from memory, though. It's not a hard Pokemon to draw. Okay, hang on. All right, there we go. Something's starting to happen. Something's starting to happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are here for the magic. I'm sorry, I zoned out of the chat for a second. I got busy on my unicorn. I'm gonna show you. So um, where there are more than 20 places in Aldovia. Okay, well, give me one with a unicorn. Um, focus it. See, you know it better than I do. I'm not sure what even to ask for. Um, what is Aldovia? Is it um, a book or is it something that you created? Um, Liam is asking, is this a world you've created? Is this from a book? Um, so hint, it has to do with the horse rescue. Ah, oh, Zadel, that's exciting. Zadel is dropping horse rescue hints. Okay. Could draw Twilight Sparkle. Okay, there you go. So here's a side view of Little Unicorn we're working on now, and I'm liking her a little bit better. There is actually some opportunity for... Um, 
there's actually an opportunity for... It's kind of got beadrill eyes going on. But... Expression on the face. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Let me take a drink, even though it's not wine. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to do her little legs yet. So Dragonair's orbs, uh, in one of its Pokedex entries, it says that Dragonair's orbs are supposed to be able to, are supposed to allow it to control the weather. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's lit. <laughs> it's lit, huh? So, yeah, that's my Dragonair. Do, uh, okay, let's bring that forward. Here's what we've got so far. Here's Liam's, um, uh, here is Liam's contribution to a possible cartoon mascot for the extra equestrians. That wasn't really a possible cartoon mascot. I was just drawing a cartoon here. Okay, well, I like it, so you should. I'm on to you. And then this is, I requested a unicorn, one that looks like a unicorn, and this is what I got. What's his name again? Dragonair. Dragonair. I like that. And it could be a him or her. Okay, are you going to color it in? Them in? Are you going to color them in? Uh, maybe, maybe Unicorn Meadows. Okay. <gasps> Try to draw our tags and Sunny cuddling. Oh, they like to graze together and be sweet. I'm going to draw That'll another sweet. cartoon horse or unicorn. Alrighty. I'm about to erase some lines. I should have had you bring me. Um, gosh, I can't even think. I should have had you bring me. Er Don't you have erasers or no? Um, I, I, um, I think I do, yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm racing some lines here. I mean, this is obviously not, a, you know, hey, hey, perfect. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay, all right, that's looking cute. We are exploring. I need to figure out how to render these digitally myself. Um, because, y'all, my theater degree is from the 90s, like before the internet was even really, truly a real thing. So graphic art was not a thing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and connect those. There we go. All right, here we go. Now I'm doing the main on this girl. Unicorn Meadows sounds perfect, um, Evie. What, what is Unicorn Meadows? Um, that, we were talking about her drawing me a specific, no, now that looks funky. Oh, I hate it. Okay, we were talking about her drawing a part of this world. And I don't think she answered yet whether it was um, her own world. Let me check. Um, how do you make that tea? Looks like a revamped Quetzalcoatl. That's what uh, Daddy says. Um, we, oh, I'm sorry. I'm shaking this. We went out trimming today. I tried to trim a mare named Down with the Devil. Oh, was she a chestnut mare? Was she a crazy chestnut mare? Okay. Um, so, Evie, I didn't see if you had answered uh, whether or not this world uh, is your creation, Aldovia. Is this something that you're, like, writing stories about? Is this a world you've created for a game or um, something else? Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Here, hang on. Let me show you my... I'm own. making a creature that I like to Working call Unizilla. Unizilla, huh? Yeah. Um, Brittany... Uh, asked how to make the tea and this um, is oat straw infusion and it's actually a very the infusions that um, we make are very strong teas like a tea is when you take a tablespoon or two of an herb and put it in hot water for like 10 to 15 minutes um, but an infusion is like an ounce of herb to a quart of water like a ton of herb and then you let it steep for at least four hours and that gets out all sorts of like minerals and nutrients and vitamins and deliciousness it's my witch's brew there you go and this one is oat straw you can't do that with everything like um you can only do that with really mild nourishing herbs because you're steeping them for so long. So oat straw is one that you could do that with. She was a liver chestnut. Okay, well, all right. I think technically it counts. 
Oh, the name is from a movie, but the rest is my creation. Oh, nice. Okay. Revamped Quetzalcoatl. All right, I gotta put, I'm gonna erase some more lines and then we're gonna put uh, some legs on this unicorn. And I like her, I kinda like her. Oh, let me. So I'm making Unizilla right now. Oh, I need to lean back so people can see you. Unizilla? Yeah. That's your own creation? Yes. Okay, I wonder what this little unicorn looks like with different kinds of eyes. I wonder what she looks like if you give her a little bit of a. What if we put, <laughs> what if we put a little lipstick on her? Is she cute now? I don't know. What do you think? With a little side mouth. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. We'll take the lipstick off for now. She doesn't need to be all gussied up yet. We don't even know where she's going. Okay, I am erasing extra lines just to kind of clean up the picture. I'm ruining this pencil eraser. I should be using like an actual eraser, like a real stinking artist. Instead, I'm using <laughs> these ridiculous things. Okay. I want to get one of those electric erasers. Electric erasers? I don't think I've even heard of that. That's insane. Who's heard of an electric eraser? Is this a thing and I'm just like out of the loop? I, it's either like electric, it's either like electric or it's called electric or it's uh -huh. just like, it's, it's like a clickable eraser. A clickable one? Oh, like a mechanical er er yeah. eraser? Oh, okay. I, I see. I know what you're saying now. A mechanical eraser. That's, it's not an electric one. It's one where, um, that you can keep pushing it up. It's like a mechanical pencil except you push up eraser and not pencil. Maybe it's, I thought, I, I thought it was more of a thing where like you can click it. It's like a pen. Um, yeah, I think that's it on click it off. kind of what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if I like these legs. I may have to experiment with different legs. This is Unizilla right here. Unizilla, huh? Let's see Unizilla. Is this Unizilla? What's... What's this one? That one's just a random cartoon. Okay, random cartoon, and this is Unizilla. There you go, man. Call one of those in. What time is it? It's 1022. We've got tons of time. No, I kind of want to draw something else. Oh. All right, I wanted you to color in the Pokemon thing. I'm not sure how I feel about these legs. Let's see, does anyone else have any ideas for a unicorn Pokemon I can draw? Unicorn Pokemon. Did you, you didn't draw Rapidash. I didn't. Come on now. Is it Rapidash with a P? I think. Or Rapidash with, see, what's it? I think it's Rapidash. Rapidash. I think Rabidash, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody, I don't know if anybody's watching this, who has read um, The Horse and His Boy from the Narnia book series, but I think Rabidash is the name of one of the, is the name of the prince from Calorman? I think the reason it's called Rabidash is like rapid and dash. Right, rapid dash, right. But I keep calling it Rabidash with a B because of that book. It sounds like Rabidash. When you say it, it's like Rabidash. Totally not drawing two random unicorns that I'm going to make look like Artex and Sunny that I downloaded off the internet. Totally not. That's fine. <laughs> Down with the devil is an awesome name, says Liam Padgett. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've just about got another option for That's my... That's because I'm the devil. You are. You're the devil. No, you, you, you gotta say it like this, dib. Oh, dib. Dib. You're saying it wrong. You're, you're saying it wrong. wrong. You're ruining everything. Yeah. This is my job. You're ruining my feng shui. My <laughs> feng shui is so <laughs> off right now. I, no, you're not. The feng shui is so off right now. <laughs> Your feng shui is off right now. <laughs> I'm dying. 
Okay, here's the second little dude we came up with. Hang on. No, 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 no. I'm not sure if she needs a mouth or what. I remember I'm gonna call the her. episode of the Pokemon anime mm -hmm. where Ash had to ride a, this person's rab Rabidash or Ponyta mm -hmm. in a race. Pokemon race. Gotcha. Good time. Oh, Zadel says, I have an electric eraser. Oh. Um, okay. So it is a thing. I guess. Ooh, there yeah. you go. We also totally didn't get a kitten. I saw the pictures. I don't think I've showed you um, the pictures. Evie and them got a kitten. And it's cute. Okay, hang on. Let me pick out my colors. Let me pick out my colors. I have these are the color pencils I have. It's They're Prismacolor, but they're just like a set that I got all together. So there is a turquoise teal. All right, and purples. I need purples. Purples. Mulberry is not really the purple I'm looking for. Violet might be something. I'm going to swatch some colors too. Just because swatching is my jam. If anyone is playing Pokemon in the chat, type in, your most me type in what your most memorable team was. Pokemon what? If anyone has played Pokemon in the chat, type in what your most memorable team was or what your current team is. Mm, okay. If okay. you're currently doing a playthrough or you used to. So this is the game you play online is what you're talking about? Um, I'm sorry. I'm like such a mom. I'm like, what is this? The video game? You kids are so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's Explain for anybody who's like, poke a hand? Um, so, like, the like me. game I play, mm -hmm. online is actual Pokemon games. It's Roblox Project Pokemon. Oh, Roblox Project Pokemon. That is a tongue twister. Roblox, Roblox Project Pokemon. Roblox Project Pokemon. Roblox Project Pokemon. Where did I Roblox Project Pokemon. Project Pokemon, Roblox, Project Pokemon, Roblox, bo <laughs> you're a nerd. Roblox, okay. <laughs> That is, I like that. So, yeah, if anyone has, a, if anyone has done a playthrough, whether it's an off, if, whether it's a copy of the Pokemon games or Sorry. whatever, just, or the real ones, just type in your most memorable one. Okay. Because I, I want to hear about it. There you go. I like hearing about that kind of stuff. All right, I'm looking at a color palette here, y'all. And maybe with silver or gold hoops and horn. All right. These are some colors. I was thinking of doing the main in these three colors. This is just a little accent color. I'm not even sure I'm going to use that. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a horn in something else. Hmm. Hmm. And to make her a white unicorn? Or should she be like, should she be a teal unicorn? Let's just make her. Or Actually, wait. Before I color her. Before, I don't want a pink unicorn. Get out of here. Maybe it should be a purple unicorn. Should it be a purple unicorn in or honor? Or maybe it could be a black unicorn. It could be. Um, it could be a purple unicorn in honor of my purple unicorn. Maybe necklace. it could be a mac and cheese colored unicorn. And, <laughs> and here's my other new purple unicorn. Okay. There's so many unicorns. I do. There's a unicorn over there. Unicorn over there. It's like I like them or something. Okay, I'm actually going to copy, make a little weird copy of have this you, drawing. Have you uh, looked in chat to see if anyone's typed in oh, shoot, no. anything about Pokemon? Okay, Liam is obsessing about Pokemon right now. All right, so zombie unicorn with wings and red eyes. That's what Brittany wants you to draw. Okay. Zombie unicorn with wings and red eyes. Um, Jungle Zadel wants aqua. You want the aqua unicorn? I'm thinking of trying an aqua and then maybe trying purple mane and tail. Um, has anyone no seen galaxy that? unicorn. What is galaxy unicorn? Huh? Nobody has said it yet, sweetie. I'm looking. Uh. Also, this isn't. I will related, let you know. This isn't related to um, uh, 
uni unicorns, but this uh -huh. is my concept art for a Mega Greninja, which I know is probably never going to get added into the games because there's already an Ash Greninja. What is this? This is a Mega Greninja thing I did. Okay. I is that like a mashup thing? No, oh. it's not. Um, it's anyone who knows Pokemon will understand that it's oh. concept art. It Mega Greninja doesn't actually exist. But I oh. make it, but I designed a mega evolution for a Pokemon that already exists. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. I'm doing a little bit. I guess I could do another just little thing of my little girl unicorn here. And it's like holding a ninja star and it, see the original Greninja. This is the uh, this is the fully evolved regular Greninja right here. This thing right here. Okay. So that thing right there. I, so in the mega form, I added another spike to the ear I and see. made it instead of its tongue wrapped around its neck, it's like holding its tongue like a whip. Okay, hang on. I actually maybe it learns the move power whip or something. And I am going to actually I can't get in a good light to copy, and I'm annoyed. Has anyone typed in anything about Pokemon yet? I am going to check in a second, you little Pokemon obsessed child. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can ask me again in just a minute. Okay. No, do not count. Don't be counting. Okay. You did not just whatever me. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right. There we go. I can redo her if I want. But now I'm going to color her in. E. Let's make her an aqua unicorn. By the way, if you're new and you're still here following after all this, thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm putting up a Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> we do live streams every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock. Um, Liam doesn't always join me, but sometimes he does. And next week will be a tech chat with my co-host Adriana. I, I never join you. I haven't joined you before. Okay. I'm not even here right now. Oh my gosh. This is... It's ghost drawn. This is Diem, Liam's twin brother. Oh, Aqua is in the galaxy color. What is the galaxy unicorn? What am I missing? I don't like. I think they mean like, like space, like galaxy color. Like oh. with the like here. I'm just gonna draw a little. Uh, but like with Sam. Oh. Um, Liam Paget says I'm making a John Travolta corn right now. John. Tra um, Liam, are you going to grace us with your presence at any point during the live stream and show us live on the, and he's in the next room right now. I could like knock on the wall. He better come show us. Okay. So I'm going to color in this little girl just to see what a color scheme does to her. So I might want like, to add like swirls and like stars and stuff mm -hmm. and like. This is a very terrible example. Of a galaxy uniform? Yeah, and like a black hole or something. It, it would look better colored in, but like, see how there's like stars and swirls. Oh, and so the like sky. the galaxy is like on the body of the unicorn. Yeah, I see. I think that's what they mean. Oh. I don't know. That might be. Maybe somebody will clarify. May be, and you guys, if you're drawing something with me tonight and you are on Instagram, then tag me in that picture, like post it on Instagram and tag me, Unicorn and Centaur, or post it, if you're on Facebook, post it in the Extra Equestrians group. You can either post it on the live stream thread or make your own post and be like, hey, this is what I was drawing tonight. I love it when people share their artsy fartsy stuff in the group. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. Okay. I'm drawing the zombie unicorn thing. Okay, Brittany, you're getting your zombie unicorn thing. And I am coloring in my little unicorny. Unicorny. Maybe I should have inked it and erased everything and then colored it in. I just wanted to see what the colors were going to look like. If I like her, I can always draw another one. This is what I tell, like, Scott, it, it, I can't, see, I can talk about my husband because Scott's not in the chat. Liam is. Um, he'll keep all these old drawings, and I'm like, you can toss them if they're, you know, 
the, it came from up here and it's still in there. And you can let it back out whenever you want. You don't have to keep all the billions of old drawings. Anyway, Marie Kondo that. Does this spark joy? And no, it does not. Okay. Which is why I gave up on tracing this little drawing. Okay. So this is what we've got going on. Okay. And let's see if the purple ruins her. Um, I need to sharpen these, don't I? Hang on, sharpening. Sharpening! So. Hang on, I've got a, one of your comments is hidden, Brit. So, show. So Brittany, yes, on Brittany's YouTube channel, she just uploaded a tack haul, um, which is fun. So I would send you a link, but the stupid chat doesn't chat. Oh, like you mean if you add a link in the chat? I think if you, I think if you add a link to something, I can approve it in the chat. Try it. I don't like being, centaur unicorn. Would that be, have like a horn coming out of the human part of the head? That might look kind of weird. Would it have like horse ears? Again, hmm, Centaur Unicorn would be interesting to try to draw. Okay, so I am going to make some mane here. We're going to make it purple. All right. So then I'm going to color the other parts in with the other purple. This may be a little bit like too garish. I don't know. Like sometimes I like colors. I have a hard time. Honestly, I have a hard time picking colors because I will pick two or three colors that I think look beautiful and wonderful. And I'm like, I love those colors so much. But then when you put them all together on what I'm doing, I'm like, eh, it's kind of eh. I don't know. Does anybody else have that problem? I don't know. I'm very critical of myself when my color combinations. Maybe that's why I wear all black all the time because I feel like I can't trust myself with colors. Okay. Alrighty, now it's time to add the other purple. Let me see if anybody else. Oh, Evie said I just tried. Oh, well, you may have to get your mom to put it on her Facebook or to put it in the Facebook group or on her um, Instagram, on the Easy Keepers. Okay, oh, I like those two purples together. I'm gonna show y'all in just a second. I like these two purples together. Even though that's not as light as I thought it would be, I thought that would be a lighter purple. Okay. This is definitely like a first draft kind of a thing. Okay, here we go with the purple, the yeah, two different well, color purples. I haven't shown the chat yet, but look at what I've got so far. <laughs> Brittany, I think you're going to be pleased. Now I'm thinking of doing this light green color for the, thank you, wow, for the horns. Uh, why? I'm having problems. So, um, yeah, Zadel, you have a question. What's up? What's up? Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like that. And a little green horn. A little green horn. Okay. This is the finish. And this is kind of in unicorn and centaur colors. Teal, two different colors of purple. And then the little green accent. Let me see if I can ink that. Ink that a little bit. 
I don't like being tired either, by the way. Okay, let me see if I can. All right, I am inking in some eyes here. Eyelashes. Nostrils. I feel like when she has everything kind of popping, it'll be good. I'm still going to have pencil marks because I didn't erase them all. But this will be a nice kind of rough draft. Want to do something else? Yeah. All right, I need a little more line width here. All right, I'm sorry if I'm obstructing people's view. Give me a second. All right, and then her horn. Maybe, maybe, kind of looks like <laughs> the way it's drawn right now, it kind of looks like a birthday candle coming out of her head. Like she's a cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll erase that. Hang on. Okay. The little tip where it looks like a flame. She's a little birthday cake unicorn. I meant unicorn. Sorry, I don't know why I said monster. Well, I guess unicorn is a monster. Ah, oh, wait, I didn't mean to. Just so majestic. Majestic, yes, it's so majestic. All right, I am going to. It's 1042. I'm going to continue inking this drawing. And let me know what everybody's working on. So when I make a post in the extra question, it says I'm a visual storyteller. I'm confused on that. Oh, they have Facebook groups um, will give you badges in groups based on your activity. And um, when it says visual storyteller, it's because you normally post a picture with your posts, either a video or a picture. Some people just post um, uh, like words, you know, just typing out things. Some people um, <clears throat> post links, but you post a lot of pictures like from uh, farrier school, your work in farrier school. So um, that's why the extra equestrian group gave you that. You have been awarded that badge by Facebook. Um, so there's other kinds of badges like um, rising star means a new member who is doing a lot of posts and is the posts are getting a lot of engagement. Um, what else? Founding member, like you can get a little badge, like if you're one of the first members of the group, you can get a founding member badge. Um, I have an admin badge because I'm the hall monitor in the group, pretty much. You're not the principal? No. Well, I guess I am. Principal M? Yeah, Principal M. That's me. For M&M? <laughs> Okay, I am making real progress. This is actually going to be done. I'm going to have one sketch and one kind of finished rough drawing by the time we're done with our live stream here, which will be nice. Oh, when I had said in the chat we were going to talk taking time, like it takes time to sit and draw stuff, and you can't and you can't just sit here crapping out masterpieces one right after another. Um, some of the things that you draw and some of the things that you do don't work. They look bad, or they look dumb. They don't look like you meant them to, or they're not. They don't work for the purpose you intended. So you scrap them, um, but that means you got to take time. You got to take time to produce the failures as well as the successes. Not everything is going to work out. Okay. There you go. There's a little advice from your Aunt Michelle, from your crazy Aunt Michelle. All 
I am inking up this little unicorn. That's quite a booty on this potato. Here we go, how she's filling out. Dee dee dee, that ear needs a little bit more line weight. There are places where the lines need more weight. All right, you're shaking everything. Don't you mess me up. Fine, whatever. So yeah, Zadel says now that makes sense because in that group, see Liam's not on Facebook, um, uh, but Zadel posts pictures from Farrier School because he is in Farrier School. <laughs> Are you hiding behind my desk? No. <laughs> I don't know what we have to think. <laughs> that is preposterous. Is it? Yes. Who Not totally I could possibly be hiding from the internet. Me? Who could I possibly be hiding from? Me? Are you hiding from me? I am. I'm scared. I'm scary. Oh, yeah. you're so sweet. My son thinks I'm scary. He's not wrong. I'm really. I've had people tell me I'm scary before or that I'm intimidating. I'm like, what? I am a marshmallow. What are you talking about? I'm like, just soft and precious. Is that. Liam Paget gonna show off his John Travolta horn. I'm in no condition to show myself on the camera. Oh, okay. Well, Maybe Liam. I can just oh, yeah. Off. <laughs> yeah, I think Scott's in his <laughs> underpants or something like that. Liam, will you hey. go? <laughs> well, if you say you're in no okay. condition to be on the live stream, I'm assuming you're in your underpants. I didn't have him on. No. Okay, this is John Travolta horn and Saturday Night Mare. <laughs> okay, would you just watch the hair? You know, I work on my hair a long time. Oh and he hits it. He hits my hair. Would oh you just gosh. watch the hair? You know, I work on my hair a long time, and he hits it. He hits my hair. Oh, okay. You're not. You can come on the live stream. He's he's not in no condition to come on the live oh, stream. Oh, is he just in his Batman jammies? No, he's in his plaid jammies. Oh, the plaid jammies. Gotcha. Hey, hey, daddy. There you go. We have had all kinds of art on our live stream tonight. Thank you for your contribution. Liam Paget. Ahem. Okay. I really hope I get this one awesome. done. This. Oh, I can hear him in, in the next room playing the live stream when he's on. If he went back in the room soon enough, he got to see himself on the live stream. Or, well. I don't think so. Anyway. He can go back. That's true. He can't go back while we're streaming. What? No, he can go back. I don't think he can while we're streaming. Yeah, he can. You can start from wherever on this on this watch. I don't think while it's happening afterwards. Yeah, can, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, I could be wrong. All right, there we go. I'm going to. Ahead. I am going. I feel like the horn placement is a little bit off in this, and definitely other things need to happen. So this unicorn is not my final product, but she is going to be, she's like a pilot, a tester. She's You're a putting tester. a poor unicorn on a test pilot? Yes. That's, that's animal abuse. <laughs> animal abuse. This unicorn is being abused. Hang on, I'm erasing. Do I have like the messed up futon in the background? Great, should fix that. All right, somebody liked something on my Etsy page. That was nice. That's what that was. Okay. All right. This. Oh shoot. Okay, so this is so far what I've come up with. She has the potential to have attitude. I'm not a fan. Um, this is not my favorite thing. The horn placement, I think, needs to be a little further back. 
but maybe angled forward to that point anyway, anyone, and maybe a little bit fatter. Does anyone bit. have like a, a, a Pokemon team that they share in the chat? Let me check. Does anyone have a Pokemon story that they have shared in the chat? No, like a team. A team. Okay. There oh, Evie has to go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy says, just jazz to be on the show. <laughs> No, I said that. Okay, that's true. You said that. Maybe I should color in my other little unicorn, too. So nobody said anything? Nobody, Liam. Anything. I'm sorry. You were the only nerdy pokey nerd. Pokey. What about Brittany? Brittany, I don't know. She may be on to other things as well. Oh, my God. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait. You say watermelon. You don't sneeze. What? Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't have to go a third time. <laughs> it works. Okay, um, maybe it did that time. All right, I kind of like her. Okay, so I have this sketch originally, but that looks more like a dog. I like the forelock and the ears, and I like the cuteness. And here is my second attempt at something. I need, I need a sassier pose than this, though. And I need a back view at some point. I need a back view of the potato. Maybe with her head turned to the side. There we go. I'm going to try that out. Before we go, it's 1051. So let me see if I can take the same sort of character that I'm looking at right now and make myself... Zadel says, dab. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ellis is here. Pokemon is awesome. Uh, she wants to know which Pokemon he's doing. Actually, he's doing a request from uh, Brittany, who, if she's not still in the chat, then she was, um, which was, what, a zombie unicorn with wings? Yeah. So he did another, what was the other Pokemon you did? The snake one? Dragonair. Dragonair. He did Dragonair. I'm not sure if you did Rapidash. Did Rapidash. Um, he was doing Rapidash when he started doing the zombie one. Oh, Brittany says half awake. Dab is like the the thing that. Oh my God! Did you just? I it? just dabbed. Oh my God! I know Liam's dying. Okay, so what if there's a round potato butt, and then her head comes off to the side here? So this is her butt. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish like the the entire coloring of it. Gotcha. But I can do at least do the red eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want it a little further back. That's a little better. Okay. So this would be like a rear view. A rear view with her sort of turning her head around to the back and going, yeah. Doing a little bit of shading. Okay. You've only got a couple minutes left. I know. That's why I'm with Mara. I know. I'm like, too. I'm like, I want to get this one done now. I, know, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Go, this but we could, but I mean, there's other stuff to do in life. I mean, and everybody has stuff to do. Right? Yes. <laughs> if Evie was still in the chat, she would beg us to go longer. Cute unicorn butt. Well, I'm <laughs> begging you to go longer. Oh, yes. Oh, and Ellis. Oh, I don't know if anybody noticed my jewelry tonight. Okay. So, yes, I have. You know, say missed the part where you showed it off. I know. Well, that's fine. People get here when they get here. 
So we've got a booty view and kind of a side view. I feel like the side view could be tweaked where it's like running or kicking up its heels like the one on my shirt is. Um, and then the back view is kind of sassy. There's a sassy pose. Sassy pose. I'm not totally happy with the tail on the sassy pose yet. Um, anyway, all right. I'm almost finished with my oat straw infusion. Also, I need to, okay, so. Right. I'm trying to do kind of a tail right now. Okay. Red eyes. Red eyes, is that what she requested? Yes. Okay. I think I might only have time for just to do the red eyes though. Black blue. Okay. Um, She's kind of cute. I might have to ink that. I might have to ink that. I might have to ink that. Okay. Sorry, everything's everywhere now. I've got pencils and stuff everywhere. All right, and we've got like four minutes left in the chat. Okay, I have, I'm happy with what we're working on. I'm happy with this. Uh, gray, gray. Um, I'm not sure if I'm happy with, if that's gonna be the final color scheme of what I'm thinking about. I don't know if I'm gonna make it a little bit different, but I'm definitely inspired to draw a couple of different sketches of this little character in action. I need to figure out a front view, a sitting down front view. Oh, I like that. I like her. I don't know what her name is yet. It's kind of a wrong shade of gray. What you got? Okay, before we're done with the live stream, Liam, let's see what you're working on. I like these two. Is it bad to like your own art? Is that wrong? Because, you know, sometimes you hate it. Sometimes I look at stuff and I'm like, okay, I don't like that. That's awful. But I like these little things right here. I like them. Is that crazy? Am I crazy? Okay. okay. What you got, Liam? Hang on. Hang on. This was Brittany's uh, idea. I want a draft butt. I have a draft butt. You know, I think about that when I'm driving the carriage horses downtown because the draft horses just have these enormous booties. And so that's what I'm looking at. I've got my lines and I've got my whip in my hand and I'm driving downtown and there's just this giant right in front of me. And it's the funniest thing. If you're on my Instagram, I think there is a brief video of, if you scroll down, um, there should be a video of me driving and you can get the view of the draft horse booty as I'm driving downtown. So there is Fine, that. Whatever. Where's my pencil? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm not supposed to look yet. It is 10.58. Okay. Not 11 o'clock yet. Oh, girl. Oh, oh. You sass your mama. Uh, what Insta? Oh, it's Unicorn and Centaur. Um, Ellis, um, Unicorn and Centaur, and I post uh, all kinds of stuff on there. Sometimes it's just pictures of me and my horse, selfies with me and our tags and Sunny. And sometimes it's stuff like um, links to YouTube and uh, other kinds of stuff and merch. Like I think the other day I posted when this came in because I was really excited. This is my favorite design in my Etsy shop. My quit being extra. Because I can't quit being extra. Dude, you are out of time. It's 10.59. Just doing <laughs> That's all you want is some shading? All right, we need to see it. Brittany said I heard a cat meow. I don't know if that was a cat meow, or maybe it was. It could have been outside. 
my kitty cats might be outside. That might be Loki. He'll sit outside my bedroom window and he will just cry and cry and cry. And I'm like, sure, I can hear him at night. I'm like, no, you need to stay outside. Because if I let him in, he'll be doing that on my bed. He'll like crawl all over me like meow, meow, meow until I get up and feed him. And we are not doing that. We're not doing that. You can stay outside. All right. Just saw the vid and I love white horses. Oh yeah, um, the uh, three of the Percherons at our company are snowy white and they are so, so pretty. And I don't know, I just love them. It's Duke and Emmy and Cinder and they are just the prettiest, they're Percherons. And then there's one other horse at the company that is a Belgian and he is like the chestnut, flax and chestnut. Um, and his name's Albert and he's very sweet. That might be it. I'm just going to show it. I know. Liam Padgett says, come on, me. Show us already. <laughs> okay, are we ready for this masterpiece? Yeah. Ooh, this. So Brittany had requested. Brittany, if you're still awake, check it out. Brittany had requested a zombie unicorn with wings and big. red eyes. I think the jaw's too big. Um, I don't think the jaw's too big for a zombie unicorn. I think this is pretty good. And I like the rotting flesh on the sides. And I like... I like that it doesn't even have ears. The ears have just gone. They're just nowhere. Oh my god, I forgot the ears. No, but they're like rotted off. <laughs> the ears rotted off. See? <laughs> it looks like the top of a skull. There you go, you win. Oh, great. I forgot the ears. Oh no. Liam, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you, Ellis, for tuning in. And thank you, Brittany and Zadel, for being here the whole time. Evie, I know you've gone to bed, but Evie, I love you, my girl. Thank you, Scott, for not only showing, uh, for watching, but for uh, contributing as well. And um, let's see. I don't know. Anybody else I missed? I'm so sorry. So we're going to stop it there with no, our... No, no, no. Wait. Oh. Did you need yours? Okay, he need, he was like oh, wait, me. No, I uh, <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Take a minute, son. Take a minute. Okay, there we go. Now it has ears. I liked it without ears, but whatever. What were we just saying about not judging yourself? Yes, we are done. Say goodnight to all the people on YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye, people on YouTube. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Next week is Tack Chat, and then after that, we'll be more crafting, and then whatever. Just come back every Tuesday night and hang out with me in the chat because I love you so much. Okay? That's all. All right. Good night, you guys. Thanks for showing up.